Hey guys, welcome back to RIP Supercharger and thanks for stopping by. So today's an exciting day, why? Mostly because of the vehicle that's behind me on the dyno. This is a 2016 Dodge Charger. The Dodge Charger has a V6 and an eight speed and also is equipped with the sport package, which means it has all the bells and whistles from an SRT. That being said, uh, the last time you saw this vehicle, you saw it make 246 horsepower and we call it about 250, which represented the horsepower at the rear wheels. That is the brake horsepower that the vehicle can produce after the drivetrain and at the wheels. We also explained in that video that when a manufacturer advertises its numbers, generally speaking, they're much higher because they're advertising what the, en what the engine can do on its own. Essentially, without the accessories, without a drivetrain, without wheels, without axles, everything that's encompassed in a car. So, if you were to purchase one of these vehicles from the dealer, drive it to a dyno, strap it down, pay the guy to run it, you should see somewhere around 250 horsepower. That goes in line with all the other vehicles we tested, which means now we have a good medium. To say that these vehicles start with 250 horsepower is an actual representation of what the vehicle actually has stock. Now you've seen other videos, like for example the Challenger, where we added a RIP supercharger and we gained horsepower, that's our net gain. So essentially what we're looking to do here is demonstrate exactly what we gained by adding a RIP supercharger. You can see behind me, this vehicle has piping going through the engine. It also has a front mount intercooler, which you can't see in this shot, but essentially it's there, which cools the engine off. This does follow the same kit as the other vehicles, which has the center mounted supercharger. It looks fantastic. It does have a blow off valve. It does have an air filter, but the rest of the vehicle is stock. I want you to note here that what you're going to see behind me when I demonstrate it means it has stack, stock hats, stock exhaust, stock gears. Nothing else has been modified outside of these wheels here uh, and maybe the drop to make more power. So, since we like making noise here and the car is strapped down on our dyno, let me make the car do some talking for itself and then we'll pick up from there. Okay, I'm just gonna make a pass here. Turn on some fans. It's good. Clean, crisp, and concise. Shut off some of these noisemakers. Okay, what you're looking at right now is 246.9, which represents the original pass this vehicle made. So essentially that red line down here represents the horsepower that the car made previous and before the RIP supercharger. I'm going to make a scale change here so that you can see. I'm gonna add max power, 430.3 horsepower, which is essentially the horsepower the vehicle is making now. You can see there's a huge gain in both torque and horsepower. This is the line that the vehicle made in terms of torque. Last time it made somewhere between uh, 200 and 250, and essentially that means it made about 230 peak. When you stepped on the gas, when I stepped on the gas on this vehicle, it started with more peak torque than it made before, naturally aspirated. You could see now it's making 360, 370 pounds of torque at peak. That is emulating 5.7 Hemi power in one modification. No other modifications, and that's also with a really big tire in the back and a really big rim. Now the horsepower, you can see the minute you step on the gas, you have more horsepower than you had before and it never ever looks back. There is no time on this dyno where it actually is at, on the same trajectory. It's starting with more period and the story. So what are we representing here? In one modification, okay, you can add 200 horsepower to the engine, well over 100 pounds of torque, right? 
in a safe environment. Now, a vehicle like this, tested as it was, just as it sits on 93 octane gas, there's no methanol, there's no other modifications in this vehicle whatsoever. I need to stress that because that's what's asked the most. Uh, do you have to do pistons? No. Do you have to do head studs? No. Do you have to do headers? No such thing. It's a monoport head. Do you have to do your exhaust? No. Do you have to do a pump? No. Do you have to do a fuel system? No. Do you have to do anything? No. This is just one modification. I'm sorry for going on there, but honestly, guys, this is just one mod and just us taking our time to try to perfect it. Remember, we're the first guys in the world to supercharge a Pentastar. We've sold over 7,000 kits in the Wrangler market, and we have the number one selling kit there. And we don't mean to boast about that. We earn that. We did that one kit at a time, one satisfied client at a time. Before we put a kit on it with our name on it, before I put something out there with my name on it, I want to make sure that it's clean and to the point. 430 horsepower is clean and to the point. A car like this can do 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. It can run you at 12, 7 quarter mile, which is a pretty damn good quarter mile. If you want to go further, you're welcome to go further. There's plenty of room left in the compressor. There's plenty of room left in the system itself. You can add an exhaust system. You can do whatever you want. But the basis of this modification is not capped here. Guys, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, please hit subscribe, press that like button, follow us on our social media, Instagram, you name it, Facebook, we're there. Go to www.ripmods.com. If you have any questions, please, sales at ripmods.com. We'll be happy to address them.